Hello, welcome to Hong Cooking with Song Jit. Today I'm going to cook stir fried chicken with cashew nut. I have about 600 grams of uh, boneless chicken. Today I use chicken breast meat and I cut it into uh, bite size. I have about 9 pieces of dry chili, quarter teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, 3 tablespoons of Thai chili paste, 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, 3 cloves of garlic chopped. These are the vegetables, so I use uh, half of the yellow onion and half of the red bell pepper, some baby corn and a green peas. So I have 3 tablespoons of goji tempura flour, so you can use normal flour, it's fine as well. And uh, about half a cup of roasted cashew nut, some spring onion for garnishing and I'll be using some water as well. So I'm going to start off with marinating the chicken first. We're going to put um, half of the salt in the chicken. Put half of the salt and all of the pepper. Then we just uh, mix them. And I'm going to pour all the cookie tempura flour on it. Alright, just marinate the chicken with um, salt, pepper and uh, tempura flour and then we can go and fry the chicken first. Heat the pan, put a little bit extra of cooking oil because we need to fry the chicken as well. Alright, the oil is already hot and I'm going to put in the chicken. Alright, done for the chicken. We'll set it aside and then we can continue to cook. So I have removed some oil and leave it, uh, leave some in there. And now the oil is hot. I'm going to fry the chili. Caution, fry the chili. It can cause sneezing or coughing, right? So be careful. Just uh, a quick toss in the oil. Right, so once the chili changes the color to a slightly darker color, then we can remove it from the pan. Switch off the heat first. Alright, done for the chili. Now I still have a lot of excessive oil. I'm going to remove it as well. So this is the chili oil that is more spicy than the other one. So I will use the same pan and I'm going to put in the garlic. We don't need to fry the garlic until brown. Just um, when it releases a nice fragrance will do. Okay, and then I'm going to put in the onions. In the vegetable. And the pan is dry, I'm going to put in a bit of water. Just to degrease the pan. See, all the nice um, flavor that stuck in the pan just now is already mixed with the vegetable. Alright, when the vegetable almost cooked and I'm going to pour in the chicken. Oh, it looks so nice. Today I cut the chicken pieces are very big. So I'm going to put in the light soy sauce. And then the Thai chili paste. Wow, smells so good. 
if it's getting dry we can add in a little bit more water we don't want to put too much water because for this fried chicken with passionate we don't need to have so much gravy so it's better to have it like slightly dry Now I can taste it. Wow, delicious, very tasty. I don't need to add anything, just perfect. So, since the chicken is already cooked and the vegetable is cooked, so I am going to stir in the chili and the cashew nut. Just give it a couple of toss and then we are done. Lovely. Oh, so nice. Okay, switch off the heat. And then, last I'm going to put in the spring onion. Mm. Stir fried chicken with cashew nut Thai style. Wow, the chicken is tender, very tasty. Taste of the Thai chili paste, lovely. And the cashew nut is crunchy. Overall, it's very nice. This is an idea dish for a main course. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And remember to subscribe for more of my cooking videos like this. Thank you and bye-bye.